오늘도 trippin' I'm trippin' I'm trippin' 너란 빛을 찾아 걸 속에 빛이 난 마치 Hi guys, it's Kayla and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I bought in Korea. So, um, <laughs> this is really weird because I usually don't do these types of videos, I feel like, because I'm always doing like covers, hip hop covers, hence my username. But um, today, I think a lot of you guys requested on my Instagram that you guys wanted to see a haul of what I bought in Korea, so I thought I'd do that for you guys. Sorry if I look really tired also, it's because we just got back today and I like, I feel like I barely got any sleep on the trip because I wanted to do a lot of things. But I'm excited to show you guys what I've got and it's gonna be like clothes and items and all that. But yeah, hopefully this will be helpful for like if you guys want to go to Korea as well and like if you guys like want to know what to buy or something. But yeah, let's just get into the video. I'm gonna separate this clothing section into like shirts and stuff. So let's start off with, let's start off with the top. The first top I bought, this is literally the first top I bought. Um, it's not in like chronological order or anything. But the first top I bought was this one. Sorry if all these clothes are wrinkles. It was in my luggage. Oh, yeah. I bought this bag in Yeongdong. So, so if you guys buy too much stuff and you need like bigger bags, so I would recommend going there. It is a little bit pricey, so... I wouldn't recommend it that much, but like if you really need a bag, then that's the place to go. <laughs> Going back to the clothes. So, I bought this shirt. It's really cute. I don't know what it says. It says scream backgrounds. Anyway, it's just like a graphic cop shirt. And it has like these ties too. Next shirt I bought was this pink top. I got this one in Hongdae as well. That shirt was from Hongdae. All these clothes are from Hongdae. But yeah, this one, I just see a lot of K-pop idols like wearing these in the NSX so I thought it was cute. Also, it has like padding inside, so yeah, it's super, it's like a very comfortable material, but yeah. That was like $5. Like, yes, all these shirts are super cheap. Like, also bought another shirt. It's super similar to the last one, but it's like a newspaper type thing. I feel like a bunch of idols keep wearing these newspaper type clothing, and then for covers, I never know what to wear. I'm like, should I just wear black or should I wear white? So I was like, I'm just gonna get this. Also, I don't remember the name of the stores, but if you guys just go to Hongdae Street, like in Hongdae, then you'll find like these clothes. Like, they kind of just repeat. It's like a real life yes style, I feel like. But yeah, this shirt is gonna be helpful for some covers. Um, moving on to some oversized shirts. I also got this one in Home Day for like $10, I think. But it's just an oversized shirt with like a season on it. Cal State, it says Korean. Yeah, okay. So I also got this bear shirt from Home Day. It came as a set with um, some shorts that I'll be showing later. Separately. But yeah, the set was only like, it was like 15,000 won, so it was like $12. It was really cheap! But yeah, I have no regrets getting this shirt. I'm probably gonna wear it a lot. Because I did wear it a lot in like my lives for Instagram. This is, this one is super wrinkled. This is just in my luggage and it's really wrinkled. But, um, at the stores, they're like steaming the clothes. So like, everything's like super like nice. But now mine's not nice because I threw it in my luggage. But it looks like this. I feel like I have a photo with this shirt that I took. Or like maybe a dance cover that I filmed. I don't know if I wanted And then I also got a similar style, but this one's like smaller. That one's like more of a boxy fit. Um, this one's more like a tighter one. Because I saw a lot of people were wearing this type of top um, in Korea. But I think they were wearing like the white one, but I just wanted the black one. <laughs> I thought it would be nice if it was different. But yeah, it looks like this. Super cute. Um, they're only on one side, so that was unfortunate, but it's still super cute. And I also like how these, oh, this one doesn't have it. Oh, wait, yes, it does. Like they have, like they scrunch the shirt at the front so it like tapers in, which I think is super cute and flattering. And this one also, going back to the last shirt, it has like this at the back too, which I thought was like really nice. And the shirts are like cheap too, so I was like, dang, there's been like so many like cute details. But yeah, and 
moving on to the next one. This one's from One Million because I wanted to get um, my clothes from like there to remember that I went. So I got this One Million Dance Studio shirt. They only had a medium left, but it was okay because like I like oversized shirts anyway, and since it's cotton, I could drink it. I really wanted one, so I got this white one. This one was okay expensive. It was like 30 bucks, but it's okay because it's one million. So moving on to the last top. This maha wow, they're all wrinkled. I'm so sorry, guys. This is a Mahagrid shirt. I'm so happy I found this because um, you guys didn't know my old group is Stray Kids, and um. They had like a collab with Mahagrid and I am wearing it a lot and like the whole the whole group like wore it for like a photo shoot right because they collabed and I wasn't able to join any group orders because it was really hard and I was just like unaware of like how to do it um so I didn't get to get anything but when I went into the store just like buying stuff because I had to take a class at 1 million right and I like was wearing a skirt and like a blazer I can't dance in a skirt and a blazer unless it was like a k-pop group but it was like a hip-hop class I was like I'm not pulling up like in a love duck outfit like no 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 but then I was like going into like a store in this one was from Gangnam um it was I don't know what this store name was called but it was like uh, the, probably the best store in um that mall I went to the Coex mall and I saw the Stray Kids Mahagrid ad at the front and I was like is it that's Hanji so and then I also saw a mannequin wearing Mahagrid but I was like where is it so I was like be like asking the people that work there and I was like Eagle old ninji like where is this like where do I huh, how can I buy this and then they they pointed me to the place and they had like so much Mahagrid and I was like give me this and it was also like there was a 40% off sale and I was like yeah I'm buying that so this one was like 30 or something in between there I think but yeah I love this shirt I'm gonna wear it so much I didn't buy as much pants as I did for shirts um, but I will be showing you guys I bought these pants at Gangnam also at the Coex mall they look like this they're super basic honestly I probably could have gone without buying them but like I said earlier, I really needed dance clothes and I was not in the fit for it. I also was wearing like super chunky platform boots, which was not helpful either. So I also had to buy shoes. Okay, oops, I forgot to bring the shoes up here, but they were just Air Forces. But um, these were low-key expensive. Um, they were like $25 like this like the the bottom this is like su this was super trendy in korea like i was just like oh, okay i'll just buy this but then when i went to one million everyone was wearing these types of pants and i was like Ooh. i like at least matched the style that everyone was going for they were from spao and i think spao is like a super popular brand there also because i saw a lot of spao stories there i also got this shirt this is from hongdae it's from ian this store. I bought it from this store. It's like a store that has like a bunch of K-pop style clothing, like in like you know like K-pop style, like the ones that I feel like idols would wear on stages. This one reminded me of Loco from Itzy, so I bought it because I was like, whoa, I've never seen this style before. And this store is like not that cheap, but it wasn't like super expensive. Um, but yeah, this skirt was probably like twenty five dollars. But no regrets because this is so cute. I like really like this. I wore this skirt at Festa when I went um, with that graphic top I showed earlier. I also got these pants because I didn't have any jeans when I went to Korea, so I wanted to buy them. And this color I think was super trendy because I saw a lot of people wear it and it was like a repeat I saw in stores, so I wanted to get some. It was kind of hard to find these wide leg ones so because I kept seeing like straight leg ones like i i wanted it like a little bit wider at the end so i'm glad i was able to find these okay actually now that i'm seeing it i don't think are, these are wide legs okay but anyway i think they look good so i don't remember how much but i just remember it wasn't like a break the bank situation so i was like give me this i got this skirt um i saw it so many times in korea like i think i saw like or not a lot of people wearing it, but I saw a lot of it in stores. 
so I think this is like a trend maybe. But yeah, it looks like this. It's like a low rise black denim skirt and it comes with like an attached belt. I feel like low rise skirts are super popular right now and I have like none. It also came with like shorts at the bottom. When I was buying it, the lady was really selling me. She was like, oh, yeah, they have shorts too. You should get them. And I was like, okay. Last skirt is like my favorite skirt, even though my brother said it looked like a diaper or something. But it's like a black skirt and it's like a, it kind of gives me the same vibe as like cargo pants but in like skirt form. And they look like this. And I like it especially because like it has like this thing at the end. Like, I thought that was cute because I usually only see this on jackets. So it like, it feel like it adds like a nice touch. That's all for the pants. Um, let's move on to the sweaters. First sweater thing cardigan I bought was this one. It's like a v-neck. Um, I feel like these types of clothes were super popular when I went to Korea. They wear a lot of these like see-through knit type clothing. Looks like this. I wore it when it was raining and it was good because then like the, the rain dried because this is like knit in the see through, you know? And yeah, it rained so much on the first like few days and I was like... And then like my friends like DM'd me and they were like, are you okay? There's like a flood in Korea and I was like, huh? Because like we went to the hotel early that day and we're on like the 12th floor so hopefully the flood wouldn't get there. But the flood was like more in like the Han River areas, like the river parks and like Gangnam area and we were staying in Yeongdong which is like kind of far, like across from the river so yeah. Anyway, next thing I bought was this. Oh, that other one was from Hongdae. This is also from Hongdae. Um, I really wanted this because I see a lot of K-pop idols wearing this type of like loose knit striped shirt. Um, I will insert examples, but the main example I have is Han Ji Sung. So I saw him wear it, so I was like, I'm gonna buy it. Also, a lot of TXC members wear this, so I was like, K-pop covers are gonna have some fashion now. I also bought this sweater vest. Um, this is the same knit style from like the other ones I showed you guys. Um, I wanted like an oversized one because I feel like I only have small sweater vests, so I got this one. This is a jacket I bought at H&M. It was low-key expensive because it was like 79,000 won. I really wanted a nice varsity jacket. It's like actually like warm and like thick so I can like wear it and like not be cold. So I'm probably gonna wear it a lot during fall because it is like fall kind of colors because it's like brownish. Last thing I bought for like outerwear was this hoodie. This was a very spontaneous buy. Like honestly, I didn't need to buy this either, but I bought it because I was extremely cold when I was studying for my final in the library. If you guys wanna see that video, you guys can check it out. I think I'll put it in the description. Dude, Korea's like so safe. Like, <laughs> actually, maybe they're just nice, but I had to go study. Okay, so I ended up buying this hoodie. I look like I'm not dressed for summer right now, but you know what? It's freaking cold in that library. And I literally could not think because of how cold I was. I hope so. no one stole my stuff because I kind of just left it there. No one stole my stuff. Oh my god. Luck was good that day. Um, okay, moving on. Guys, all the stuff I bought that aren't clothes. This is gonna take a while. Never 